today I'm going to be testing two new products that I actually got for Christmas. I've been kind of using them uh, the past, I guess, almost month or so since Christmas uh, just to kind of see which one applies my foundation better. So I've been using this uh, Real Techniques brush that my best friend gave me for Christmas and then my Clarisonic that my stepmom gave me for Christmas. I asked for the Clarisonic for Christmas because of Tati Westbrook that applies foundation flawlessly. I haven't had too much luck with this uh, applying foundation super flawlessly. It's been kind of streaky when I use it. Um, however, I'm going to try and use it a little bit differently today um, just to kind of see if I'm been using too much foundation with it because I'm used to using my Beauty Blender which does soak up a lot of products, so I'm going to be using this one um, with less foundation to see if that's what I'm doing wrong. I have been using this, and I love this brush. Like, Christina, thank you. She hooked a girl up with this brush. Um, I think she got it at Ulta. Real Techniques foundation brush, and um, I have been loving this. Honestly, like, I've never really applied foundation with a brush before, and I've been using this, and I just loved it. So without further ado, I guess we'll just kind of go ahead and get started um, and applying foundation on my face. So I think what I'm going to do is apply half of my face using the Clarisonic and then the other half using the Real Techniques brush. Now I have a mirror in front of me, so that's why I'm going to be kind of like looking down. Uh, I've already primed my face, so I'm just kind of ready for foundation. Do Maybelline Super Stay uh, 24 Hour Foundation. I've been liking this foundation, however, I haven't really had much luck applying it with a brush, so I've been using it with a beauty blender, but we're gonna kinda see how this goes today. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, the way I would normally do it with the Real Technique brush first. Just dot it on my face. Okay, and this one, I just kinda go all over the face just to kinda get the brush kinda coated really well, and then just kind of like massage it in. And I really like this foundation because it's very, I wouldn't say that it's full coverage, but it has a lot of coverage on it. I don't have it like fully blended on the other side of my face, but like having it blended down here, I think it looks really nice. All right, so that's the Real Techniques brush on the side. And then instead of dotting the um, foundation on the side of my face using the Clarisonic, because that's where I think I've been applying too much, I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. I think I'm just going to dot, 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 dot. So for whatever reason, I think my entire face needs a whole nother layer of foundation. It's been kind of dry where I'm at lately, so uh, it's been making my skin a little different than I'm typically used to. Still gonna do the same on the other side. I like the beauty blender, kind of makes it. Um, Gosh, I think I need to just exfoliate my skin now that I look at it. But, okay, so I'm gonna talk about more about blending instead of like my actual skin. Um, so, I feel like they blended out sort of similar. Um, I can't really tell too much of a difference. I feel like I noticed just a little bit more texture on this side. I don't know if it's because the Clarisonic is like putting the bristles more into my pores and accentuating them 
I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like if you are wanting to apply your foundation with a brush, it's probably a better idea to go with this. I've had more luck with this. It's been a lot easier to use. I only like this a little bit more. Um, so, I mean, I'm glad I personally didn't spend the money on this, but um, I am happy to have this, um, even if I end up not liking the foundation brush too much, just because it has like all the cleaning brushes to like really exfoliate your face and like make sure you're cleaning it really well. I mean, I still think this is a good device, but I just don't know if the um, brush attachment that's like $34 is worth it. Now what I think I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna finish the rest of my routine and just doing the rest of my makeup and just kinda look at the end result after I do everything the same on both sides of my face, even though I did different brushes. Okay, so now that I have the rest of my face done, I kinda wanna just wrap up my final thoughts on both of the products that I used today to apply my face foundation. Sorry, I can't even think right now. Well, I think they perform pretty similarly. Uh, I don't necessarily, like I was saying, I don't think it's worth the splurge just to get this to apply foundation. Because honestly, like that's why I asked for this for Christmas is because I wanted this to apply my foundation flawlessly. And I just don't think I achieved that any more than I did with this. And I know that this is significantly less expensive than this. Um, I mean, I don't think it looks bad on either side of my I don't want to talk about um, this forehead situation because I need to exfoliate my face like so bad. But anyway, um, aside from that, I think it looks pretty good. So that completes today's video. If you could do me a favor and go ahead and if you liked this and if in any way it helped you, go ahead and like it. And also subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to come out with new content as often as possible. I've just been really busy with work. I'm exhausted. Um, but anyway, uh, y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time.